welcome back to our travel trailer build of our tiny teardrop. So today we're going to start installing the spars. And with that, let me show you uh, what I've done, what I've got, the steps I'm going to take, and how you're going to proceed. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing that I've done is pre-made all of my spars. So I used one by twos, I double stacked them, I glued them, and I stapled them. So now we've got a nice rigid piece for our spar. They're not cut to length just yet. Uh, that'll be one of the steps we'll take. So I have about 14 of these. We're not necessarily going to use all of them, but just in case I have them ready. So they're set aside. And then, so when I made the template, and that notch that I cut around on one of the templates, I saved the piece that I cut off. And I trimmed it to fit down here and struck a line. And then I just have it setting here right now and it's all clamped on. Just to kind of put it in position. Like so. And that's what I'm going to use for the spacers in between our spars. So once I get the spar where I want it, I'll make a line, put the other spar, make a line, and then I'll trim this, cut it, and that'll be my template for the piece that I'm going to make that'll actually fit right here in between the spars. So that's going to hold the ceiling down and fasten to the side, and I'll be able to fasten to the spars so the ceiling will be locked in pretty tight. So let's see what the... Uh, well, that was the second step. So the third thing I'm going to do is now mark for where I want the spars. And I am just arbitrarily going to put the spars where I think I need them. Obviously, one here in the back, one across the seam. I will have a brace here, and I'll probably put about three braces here on the back section because this is where the lid's going to be, and there'll be a little bit of flex, so I want to make sure that that's solid. Then we'll start up here and we'll start putting the braces until we get near the center where we're going to have our fan right here. And so then we'll make our spars for that. And coming back around the front, as we come around here, I'll probably have a spar. One here and one here and one here and one here and one there. We're going to have spars all over the place and we'll try to keep a uniform gap in between so when we cut our insulation everything's going to be fitting nice and easy. So the next step is to set our spars up there and mark it to where we're going to be cutting for our template for our spacers here in between our spars. So I have went ahead and pre-made a little small piece of the spar. This is what I'm going to use to set up here in place and mark for my spacers. So once I get this set where I want it to be, that's where the spar is going to sit, then I will make a line here on our spacer. Then I'm going to come up to the next part. This is where I'm going to have next spar right across the top of the seam and we'll mark this one. Then we're going to label these one, two, three, four and so on and then we'll get these cut and then we'll be able to place our spars and put our spacers in between to line everything up to make sure they fit in the right spot where I've got them. Then we get those spars on. Meh. Alright, so I now have my uh, marks laid out where I'm going to cut for my spacers. So each one of these little X's here are where my spars are going to be. And I have about 10 spacers, 11 actually, which means I'm going to have about 11 spars. So I've got them numbered here on the outside. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and cut all of our blocks here 
and get those ready to transfer onto our uh, one by twos that I'm going to use as spacers. So I'm just going to, this is my template. I'm going to cut these and that'll be what I use to make my blocks for both sides. Once those are cut, then I can put the first spar in. Then I can set the spacer, put the second one in, spar, and then uh, so forth. I'll get all the spars set. Once I like the way it looks, then I'll remove them, put the adhesive down, get everything in place, and fasten it permanently. And then our spacers here will also glue the heck out of it and to the side. So, because my ceiling is an eighth inch, it also raised this block up one eighth of an inch. I've already drawn my line across here, so when I cut this block, I can sand it back or just leave it high until I get the actual spacer in there, mark it, and then I'll sand it down to where it needs to be. So I'll probably leave it like that so I can uh, have a little wiggle room. That's what we're going to do. So now I'm going to pull this piece off and we're going to get all these little blocks cut. Okay, so I've taken that piece and cut it up into all my little blocks that I'm going to need. And I've got 11 of them. So now I have some 1x3 here on the floor, which I'm going to use and transfer my templates onto those and then cut those out, one for each side. And then we can start installing some spars. All right, just a real quick glimpse of the first pieces I've got cut. So I've cut two spars to the width that I need, 47 and 7 16 And I've got the first two spacers in place. Nothing's fastened, but uh, it butts up nice, real nice, and uh, lays flat. So we're looking pretty good. So we'll continue on cutting and making our blocks, our spacers here, and then we'll cut and set in our spars as we progress until we get to the front. Uh, once everything's in place, we'll mark where we need to drill some holes and uh, we'll start getting those kind of fastened on. Then we'll remove everything, apply all the glue and adhesive, and permanently put this in place. So uh, my biggest concern is just the center here. Make sure that I get the uh, opening for the fan and I want to make sure I got that right. So, hang in there. I've got a few more blocks to cut and get into position. Meh. We'll have the spars on this thing in no time. All right, so we've got a good start. We've got a first and second brace in. Now we're getting ready to start on a third before we can lay in our uh, fourth spar. So, let me show you how I'm doing that. So, I have two pieces of wood that I'm going to use for my for my uh, spacer and this is my third block so I'm just going to set that on here and I'm going to trace all the way around it do that on both pieces Now I'm going to mark which is the front, back, and up. So this part is going to be up. This here is the back and the front. That way when I get it all cut and sanded, then I know which way to orientate the thing. So let's get that cut and sanded. Now that I have my part cut and sanded, we'll slide into the place. Butts up right nice against our spar. Then we'll have a little gap here at the bottom. So what we're going to do is take our pencil and just draw the bottom here. 
that gives us our shape. So now we'll cut that and we'll sand it and then we'll mark the top, get it sanded and we'll put it in place. And then once the piece is cut and in place, then we'll just take a pencil and we'll set here and we'll mark our line. Then we'll just sand that ever so slightly and put it back in place. That side's done. We'll do the next one. Now that we have both of our little spacers cut, sanded, and in place, now we're going to cut the spar and put it in. All right, so now that we have at least four spars in place, I think the next piece that we're gonna have here is gonna be for the space for our fan. So we'll cut the uh, two spacers, we'll get the spar in place here, we'll figure, make sure that we've got our 14, I think I measure about 14 and a quarter for our hole in the center uh, before we can fasten it to our spars here. So other than that, all this will get sealed up pretty tight once we get our adhesive on there. That'll look nice and flat on the inside. Suck up real tight. So we have some more spars to go. What do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more spars to go. And spacers. So it takes a little bit <coughs> cutting each piece individual. I'm not putting two pieces together and cutting them at the same time only because if there's an anomaly where you know one side is just a little different than the other uh, well that's how I'm doing it so if you're more comfortable with cutting two pieces the same and putting them on both sides have at it I'll just take my time and do each piece individually that way I know they fit and I've got them in the places where I want them so let me get all the spacers cut and the spars in place and then I'll give you a shot of that and talk about what we're going to do after that. Alright, so I spent about three days, an hour, two hours a night, coming out, cutting, sanding, fitting my wood, and now I have all my spars cut. They are all in place and uh, well, let me show you what it looks like. So starting here at the back, first thing we did was laid this spar here, cut it to fit uh, widthwise, and then we started with our little spacer blocks here on the edge. And then we would cut and fit another spar, and then we would fit the spacer blocks on each side, cut and fit another spar, and so forth. So right now they are all just kind of setting in there. Nothing is attached and it's just kind of free floating. But I think it turned out really well, actually. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. And of course, where there are gaps here is because our plywood is pretty, pretty thin, it's very flimsy. But once we get these set and we put the adhesive on, we'll press these in place and that'll seal that right up. Same uh, with along the top. Of course here it looks pretty good. And then we get in here and we've got this big gap. But I think like I showed you on before, very easy to push up. And that will seal those once we get the adhesive down. So that's not a big deal. And of course it's, uh, no, it's not vented. So when I shut the door you'll watch that. Oh yeah. So that is looking pretty good. All right, so what are we gonna do next? All right, so the next step is, now that we've got all of our spars in place, and we have all of our spacer blocks sitting in place, we've got these clamped so they don't fall out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the back, and we're gonna start tapping holes in the end of each one of our spars, and we'll get those fastened onto the cabin itself. Uh, we'll have the adhesive on, put those in place, screw fasten them, make sure that we're sealed solid, and then one at a time we'll go ahead and install our spacer blocks. 
Uh, also on the spacer blocks, I'm going to use my uh, little pocket hole drill and put pocket holes here on the ends. So once everything's in place, glued, clamped, and kind of cured, then we'll come back and we'll attach screws in here, which will go into the spars. That will make everything solid. So it's going to come out pretty good. Yeah, let me show you what I have in store for the back. All right, so for the back section here, this rear spar, this is what's going to attach to the hatch itself. So we'll have a hurricane hinge across here, also attached to the hatch, and that will up and down, up and down. Now, the only thing that would be holding this in place are two screws on each end. And we'll have it glued to our plywood here. But that plywood is very thin, and what I don't want is I don't want this thing to flex as I'm opening and closing the door. So there's two things I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and double up another set of spars here on the end, just like this, and screw fasten from this side into this spar. That will make this very rigid. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to put blocks probably three a set here, set in the middle, and a set on the end. And that will keep any pressure uh, opening and closing just in case this thing wants to rock over time. So by adding another set a spar here and fastening to that, everything is going to be really glued. And also three a set of braces here in the center. That will ensure, in my mind, that... Uh, that hatch opening closing over years time uh, is not going to flex, it's not going to give, and nothing's going to rip out. So that is my plan. Once we get everything fastened in, then we'll put another spar here and then we'll start setting our braces. Also along that line, setting our braces is in between these spars, we'll also set a couple of braces and that will be measured out for our fan. So we'll, we'll have a fan on the inside, an exhaust fan. Um, well, that way you want to have the thing vented. So um, it'll draw in air because the side doors, uh, the windows raise up and you have a screen. So you'll be able to bring in some fresh air and don't feel so <laughs> claustrophobic. But yeah. So that's where we're at right now. So. Our next step is to, one by one, fasten the spar, fasten the braces, fasten the spar, fasten the braces, and all the way to the, all the, way to the end. So that'll, that'll take me a oh, good Saturday or a few days during the week, and we'll have that done. Once those are all set, then the next thing we got to do is run our electrical. So I got to plan on where I want some lights and where I want the wiring to be for our fan and how I'm going to come out here on the back for our lid. Uh, so, yep, hang in there. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this video. So I show you how to cut our spars, what I did to get these together. Use one by 2 white pine and uh, glued and fastened together. That makes a good, straight, solid uh, piece of wood. So, uh, yep, stay tuned for the next one where we start fastening things on. And before you know it, we'll have the wiring in, we'll have the top rolled on, we'll get some phylon put on top of that, then we'll start on the hatch. So, until then, stay tuned.